So I've talked about the top five beaches in Saigon. Now let's move on to the islands. There are so many that it's hard to talk about them all, but here are my top five. Note that I'm excluding Shop Island since I already talked about it in the top five beaches. Grass Island, also known as Tap Moon, Grass Island is a half an hour boat ride from the Wangshak Pier in Saigon, and a sleepy little fisherman village known for its, you guessed it, grass. Another famous landmark is the Balanced Rock, which is shaped like the Chinese character Lo. It is also home to many buffaloes and cows. And the restaurant serves up a good sea urchin fried rice. You can also pay a visit to the Chinhao Temple, who is the Taoist goddess for fishermen. Green Egg Island. Since being featured in a local TV program, Green Egg Island has become the place to visit in 2020. It's named for its shape, which is like the fried egg with a green yolk. You can hike from there. From a branch off in the Long Ha Wan Country Trail, but it is overgrown and kind of difficult. Alternatively, you can kayak from either the Shangxi Wan or Po Dai O Village. There are numerous rock pools on the island, which are beautiful but perhaps not worth a dip. And that I mentioned is great for snorkeling. Jin Island. If you want to feel like you're not even in Hong Kong, Jin Island is a great choice. You can kayak or charter a speedboat to the famous arch known as Goldfish's Tails, which has pristine water and volcanic columns. But to truly see how it gets its namesake, you will need to climb up to a viewpoint to see that it is an arch that shapes like a goldfish. Do note that the climb is rather difficult and not suitable for beginners. Bluff Island, a smaller island not too far from Jin Island. Bluff Island has a smaller but pristine beach called Ong Kong Wan, which is a popular bay for many boat parties. It is also one of the best places to snorkel in Hong Kong with clear water, and it has also a curious collapsed hand formation on its mountains. The trail to go up is hidden, but the hike is less than an hour and well worth the trip. Basso Island. Basso Island is just across from Bluff Island and part of the Hong Kong Group. It's also uninhabited and famous for its Guangdo Arch and geological columns. It's best to charter a speedboat to drop you off and pick you up, and bring your own swim gear to get to the arch. The only downside to the island is that the beaches are rocky, but you can see from the pebbles of the interesting geology that it has.